As the year 2020 wraps up, it also marks new beginnings and a new lease on life for two sea turtles rescued and rehabbed by the caretakers at the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies in Gulfport. News 25's Tony Miles takes us on a journey into the Mississippi Sound where these special turtles were released back into their natural habitat and will be used to collect critical data in a groundbreaking study. A tale of two turtles, one a male green sea turtle that came under the care of the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies in Gulfport two years ago. There was a baseball cap wrapped around his front flipper um, and he actually had a fracture to that flipper. The other, a rare female Kemp's Ridley sea turtle on her last leg when she landed on the IMMS operating table back in August. I'm just traveling down the stomach. It was the worst of times as a team alongside an MSU veterinarian performed sophisticated surgery to remove a life threat fish hook. Then the best of times. We were able to successfully remove that um, and then able to treat her here. Her rehabilitation is critically important in getting her back out so that she can contribute to the population. And contribute she likely will. And we've been able to successfully rehabilitate them and now they're ready for their release and back into the wild. After a boat ride south, the change of scenery, just south of Horn Island, where researchers tested the waters figuratively. <laughs> And literally. Testing the pH in the water. Then for the climax, the moment all had been waiting for, including these newly named turtles. The green sea turtle we have named Magnolia, and then our Kemp's really sea turtle we have named after yours truly, Tony. Time for sweet release. But the story doesn't end here. Magnolia and Tony will be starring in a reality show of sorts with a twist. One used for scientific purposes, research and data collection for all the world to see. These two turtles have satellite transmitters attached to the back of their shells. Um, so every time they come up to take a breath, it'll transmit a signal to satellite and we're able to track where they're going. Um, so if you follow on our website, it's going to be on imms.org slash track our turtles. A bittersweet release, a few covert tears, and a turnaround as these IMMS workers made their journey home, all the while scanning the horizon, knowing there's still work to be done. Tony Miles, News 25.